If you want to help me make more videos like this one, check the links in the description below. Thanks. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to reveal your text or image in the hit film for Express Video Editor. Let me go ahead and give you a preview. And so that was pretty slick. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Really it's simple. I'll show you what I'm doing exactly. What I use is a mask. And this mask, if I zoom, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out from here. This mask is actually sliding down to reveal the text underneath it. Like that, see? And so I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, start from the beginning. I'll delete this one. And I'm going to add the text back in. I'll start from here. And usually, this is actually a PNG image, but you can still do the same thing with regular text. I'll show you that after this one. So I'll go ahead and drag the image. That's added. Next step is to choose one of these uh, masks. Any of these will work, but I'll go ahead with the rec rectangular mask. Go ahead and select it from the one corner of the image. If it doesn't select, make sure you select the layer. Now let's try that again. You select it from the corner of the video clip to the other corner of the video clip until you have the whole um, uh, layer selected. And then the next thing you want to do is move that layer. You can actually, I'm not sure, yes, you can do it from the controls. This is um, always easier. What you want to choose is position, and you want to keyframe the position. So let's see. Let me make sure this is open on this side too so I can see the keyframes. So you open transform, and we have path, we have position. Enable keyframing. Okay. We're going to make this a smooth keyframe. And we're going to make this image start maybe 700 pixels up. Or not image, but the, you know, mask. Uh, make it 900 pixels up. Mm, 11. Okay. So it's all the way up there. And it's very simple. And uh, maybe after 3 seconds. Yeah, three seconds is fine. I'll change the position back to zero. Hit the enter key. And voila, it's very simple. I'll play it again. Same thing. See? Very simple, very effective, and it looks really nice. Now you can do the same thing with text. It's really the same thing. Okay, I'll go ahead and delete this. I'm going to add a text layer. Text. We're going to go with the regular uh, full HD. So that's 1920 by 1080p. So hit the OK button. We got the full uh, video clip covered. We're going to choose some, um, I'm going to say small text, but I'll make it bigger. Go ahead and enter your text in. Hello world. I'll make it bigger. First, uh, make sure to highlight the text or it doesn't work like this, or Control A, that also works. Now change the size, make it like uh, um, 200 maybe. I'll make it a bit bigger, 400. Yep. I'll go ahead and center that. Mm, there you go. That. And now we have this. And we do the same thing. Go ahead and uh, select the rectangular mask tool. Make sure this layer is selected. The layer that you want to apply the mask on. From one corner of the uh, video clip to the other corner. Um, drag the mask. And then again, transform the position. I'll do it from, you know, here. So, from uh, position... Um, from the from the very get go, put eleven hundred pixels. Not in this one, but the second option, and then you can put zero pixels. And of course, you can smooth frame these if you wanted to make it look nicer. And you can also choose to have it come from one angle or another angle. Although you'll notice that it's a square, 
So if you want to choose like a round uh, mask, you can do that if you want it to look more organic. But you know, go ahead, go ahead and take a look. Very simple. I'll actually just show you how it looks if I change the position from let's say instead of this number we put zero and for over here we put um, 1080p so what 1080 1080 mm, no no it's a 1920 1920 there you go now let's see how it looks see very simple thank you for listening I, uh, I hope um, I've been able to help you if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!